Hi, both from Football Base, like Kodu K, and today I'm unboxing the brand new CR7 Savage Beauty Imperial Superfly Solo by Nike Football. Let's just get these boots out of the box and the box out of the way. So this is the soft ground edition and in the box we also get a stud key and some extra studs. We've got some red and some gold. The gold ones are for the longer, the, uh, the longer studs and the red ones are just standard replacement studs. As you can see it is soft ground. So having one three Ballon d'Or awards, scoring over 500 career goals and being one of the all-time leading goal scorers for both Clyde and Country. Nike Football are chronicling Ronaldo's path through a new series of seven Mikrell Superflight CR7 boots. So the boots will be involved one at a time over the next several seasons with the Savage Beauty boots being the first of the seven. So the name Savage Beauty takes its cues from Madeira, the volcanic Portuguese island where Ronaldo was born. The boots use one of the most intricate and unique graphic patterns ever by Nike Football. So the Savage Beauty is another black football boot for CR7. The Portuguese star has had several black CR7 releases in the past year, including the Rare Gold and Gala editions. So the boots use a vibrant six color graphic which flows from heel to toe to accentuate Ronaldo's speed. Branding wise, we see the Swiss logos, the CR7 and Mercurial logos all colored white. So we'll bring it closer so we have a closer look at the design. So yes, this lava print pattern is the headline feature of this new CR7 release. It's on the lateral side, it's on the toe box, it's on the medial side of the boot. Really striking graphic, I'm a big fan. In terms of the branding, we've got pearl white colouring the Swish logo on the toe box and forefoot. A really sort of pearl white colour, I don't know if you can see it in camera. It's pearl white, it's not it's just a standard block white colour. Flip it over to the heel, we've got a CR7 logo sort of attached on top of the, the um, Nike skin upper and it's a sort of a CR7 um, silver color and on the heel on the seam here white colors the Mercurial logo and white colors another swoosh on the heel on the medial side of the boot as well as the ACC logo on the medial side of the boot black laces inside the boot we get a nice little orange dynamic for collar in the inside and yeah black on the seam another little Nike swoosh logo in orange but yeah Look at that, it just looks really, really um, world class, really sort of nice design there with the orange coming through. Flip it over to the sole, we've got sort of a lava coloured studs on like four on the forefoot and two on the heel with this another grey colour carrying the additional bladed blades on here. So we've got two there and two there and two transparent studs on the forefoot and another white source logo there. Carbon fibre sole, look really sharp. I'm a big fan of this colourway, it's this colourway it's a design and colour we've never really seen before by Nike Football and it's a sort of a vibrant pattern on top it's not just a sort of a block colour design big fan so I'll bring out the sock liner so you, as you'll see the trademark Cristiano Ronaldo rectangle is used and it says created to the exact specifications of Cristiano Ronaldo with the number 9 in the corner this is CR7's ninth general release mercurial boot by Nike so again you can see 6 zeros and a 9 Swoosh logo and a CR7 logo and a signature and just a standard orange sock liner perforations running right through it so I'll just bring in the Vapor Savage Beauty Edition just to compare the designs on both boots so on the Vapor it's much more of a sort of real straight up print on top of the Tejan Synthetic so as you can see it's very vibrant on the medial side on the toe box and on the lateral side of the boot flipper over the Superfly it has more of a 3D look so it's again the print is very vibrant and colorful but it's not going to be as bright and vibrant as what you see on the Vapor. Both really stunning boots and I love the de design of both boots but yes as, you, as I said before the, um, the design on the Superfly is much more 3D and it's much more interweaved with the upper technologies. So unlike the previous Silverware Superfly for CR7, this boot will act the same as a standard Superfly as the upper and textures are exactly the same. There is no glitter or anything which will provide a different playing experience in terms of performance. The only minor difference is the uh, how it feels in hand. So this Lightning Storm Edition is a standard edition and in hand the upper is very grippy and you know it's got some sort of um, grippy texture to it. Over to the Savage Beauty Superflies. Again, it's very grippy, but it's quite a bit more smoother. It's it's not as smooth as what you get on the Vapor. So you, see, you can hear that. Very smooth on top of the upper. Whereas the Superfly is a bit more grippy. It has that knitted texture. And it's not going to be as smooth, as uh, grippy as what you get in a standard Superfly release. 
So the most noticeable feature to the Mercurial Superfly is the dynamic fit collar, which is made up of a woven material dubbed Flyknit. The collar is designed to lock down your foot into the shoe for a soft like feel and fit, resulting in a more responsive feel and fit. As you can see, the orange coming through, it looks really nice. It's gonna wrap your foot and wrap your ankle really nicely. So the fly material spans from heel to toe, and this boot is only the softest material on the market, and is very similar to that of the Mercurial Weber 10, which has a super soft adhesion synthetic upper. So in hand, you can see just see how soft it is. I'll bring in the Vapor 10 again, just to compare the softness of these two uppers. So yes, very soft on the Superfly. Flip it over to the uh, Vapor. And in hand, the Vapor 10, the Vapor 10's adhesion synthetic feels much thinner and feels much softer than the Mercurial Superfly's Flyknit upper. But they're both very, very soft. So an additional super thin synthetic layer dubbed Nike skin is added on top of the Flyknit for extra durability and touch. The woven material actually has a bit of texture to it with, which will help to control the ball at high speeds as I mentioned before. So again, it's this super thin synthetic print and it's probably the reason why you can actually get that sort of lava print on top of these boots because the Nike skin is there and it's just designed to waterproof the boot and just help with durability over time. So like what is seen on the new Phantom 2 boot, Brio cables merge in with a laser to lock down your foot in place into the shoe, again enhancing that responsive feel and fit for quicker acceleration and traction, a great thing to have in a speed boot. So again ACC is used for this boot for consistent touch in both wet and dry conditions, another great feature to have in a speed boot. So featured on previous Mercurial generations is the carbon fiber plate which is one of the most responsive and lightweight soles on the market. It delivers explosive speed in all directions while the vapor traction pattern uses direct inject blades which dig into the ground at high velocities for instant acceleration. So yes, this is the soft ground edition so you're going to see conical studs replace those blades on these vital areas. So yeah, it would be pretty good on soft ground surfaces. Again, that's that carbon fiber system. It's quite stiff as you may be aware, straight out of the box. It's quite a stiff material but it's very responsive, very like snap back explosive acceleration is what it's designed for and just look at it it looks amazing and see it shining in the, uh, in the light there so it looks really good really high quality sole plate on the superfly so first impressions the new savage beauty cr7 superflies are stunning it's all about the design of this boot and it's essentially just a print on top of this fly net and nike skin and it's in, in hand it looks very good and loving the softness of the fly net um, nike skin upper the dynamic fit collar is a feature which may take some time to get used to and even Ronaldo cuts his collar off a little, something like that just so it provides a more traditional feel. The Vapor 10 is also available if you want the low cut option but yes, big fan of this new design of this boot. In terms of width, in terms of how it will fit width wise it's not the best for widest of feet. I've actually put this boot on and it does fit me but it's not the best out option out there for me and it's very streamlined narrow fitting in terms of sizing you would definitely go true to size or even you could even go half a size down for a really snug fit but yeah that's my uh, unboxing of the new savage beauty cr7 mercurial superfly boots by nike football we're doing a special comparison video with the new vapor 10 video the um, video will be going live on our channel very soon so thanks for watching and as always we'll see you next time